Last night I got in about eight. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was a uh, kind of drove through like Taos and like that area. And, and what's your vision? Same thing, but do you want to do a razor fade or a regular fade? Uh, we can do razor fade. Yeah. I got you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was, like it's a nice drive, but not a nice drive in a semi truck. Okay, so what was the route, or what, what drive was it in the beginning? Uh, like, so I just drove from here, like, pretty much through the reservoir, I can't remember the name of the river. I have, like, it on my phone and stuff. But up through, like, I believe Simran and, like, Taos, and this is crazy backwoods, like, mountain area. I don't feel like it was a drive for a semi. And, and where did you, uh, wait, you, so you picked up the truck here and then you took it somewhere and everything? Oh, yeah, like, I do deliveries for, for Corn Mart, so I'll stop, like, on the way up there, I'll stop at different stores as well and just drop stuff off, like, just whatever they order. I, like, I do convenience stores, and sometimes I'll do, like, Walmart routes, but this time we did convenience stores, so just, like, drinks, candy, like, Cigarettes, tobacco. Not too bad. And how many places did you uh, have to stop at in the In uh, two days, I think we had 18 stops. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's kind of a lot. It wasn't that full of a truck, though, this time. It was only like, I think it was only like 900 and something items. Usually we do about 1,500. And so how long did that take? So yesterday I, I pretty much maxed out, or the day before, so I left the day before yesterday. I maxed out my 14 hour driving then, and then I pretty much maxed out my 14 hours yesterday too. I had about 45 minutes left on my 14 hour drive time. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, and last week I... I had 26 minutes left on my drive time for the week for my 60 hours when I got back into town. That's kind of cool though. That, that's cutting me close. That means you're going, you know, it's right there within the limit and everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's cutting it real close, but I get paid pretty good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I might, might be going somewhere else in December. And why? Ah, uh, just more money, less work. Oh, yeah. The other job, I can't remember the name of the company. I sent the name to my wife so that she could save it for me. But um, all I'll do is like a relay, I think they call it, where I'll just take a trailer from here and drop it off like in Colorado or Arizona and just drive back. I don't have to like touch anything in the trailer, nothing, just drop off the trailer, pick up another one, bring it back. Yeah, I like that idea, because what is the drop-off process now and everything? So we have to unload the back of the truck, so all the items, boxes, like... But you're not stocking the shelf or anything? No, 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 I just drop it off, and then, like, I'll go, like, with the manager, receiving manager, I'll go over, like, everything and make sure everything's there. If it's not there, I gotta issue a credit. And you have the authority to do that? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if the item's not there, I kind of, yeah, I have to because that keeps the customers happy. I really enjoy the job, though. Like, I hated doing the Walmart route because the receiving managers were just super rude, like, for no reason. And I can't say anything. All I can do is call my manager and let him know. Like, I can't tell him anything. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah.
I think this other route will be better where it's like a relay and everything. Yeah, yeah, it'd be a lot better. Go over there and drop it off. It's strictly you're just driving down there. Yeah, it's driving down there. I don't even, like, all I do is disconnect my air lines and my electrical line from the trailer, and they, they're the one that unho unhooks it. Oh, wow. Damn, yeah. so you down there don't even, it's like, shit. No, I just drive. <laughs> <laughs> don't even get out of the goddamn car. Yeah. <laughs> I really, God. yeah, I really enjoy being a truck driver, though, man. Like, I really, really enjoy it. Yeah, I don't, you know, I'm the same way. I don't mind driving or whatever, so that's yeah. something I don't mind doing. And, like, lately, like, I don't know, I think me and my wife, we're going to start looking into property in Sholo, Arizona. Oh, wow. It is beautiful up there. Want to go move and live out there and everything? I'm not sure yet, but, like, I don't know, I just fell in love with the town, like it's, like one of those mountain type of towns, it's like, it's really nice up there. Oh, wow. I mean, we were looking, there's plenty of jobs up there for me, like for driving, so. Mm -hmm. I don't know, there's a couple of different routes we could go. Oh, that'd be cool, because then, you know, the kids stay here and you can still, uh, you know, through your route or whatever you'll be yeah. over here and everything. Yeah, like I really, I don't know, I like the town, like it's, it's really pretty, like it's, and then the crime rates, not, there's barely any crime. Oh wow. Yeah. And what is the cost of living and everything compared to here? Um, a little more expensive than here, but the pay is, like I, I'd be getting paid more as a driver up there, so I don't really think it would affect me too much. Yeah. Yeah, cause it, it's more of like a, I don't know, I'm gonna say like an upper class type of area. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, and I talked to a lot of the people that live there, like where I was delivering and stuff, and they say they absolutely love it. Like, there's a guy that, one of the receiving managers at one of the Walmarts, he used to uh, live here, and he moved up there like 17 years ago. He yeah. says he doesn't miss Albuquerque at all, that he loves it there. Oh, that's sick, so he's from here now. Yeah. He's there, and he still likes it. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Did you see that debate last night and everything? I watched a couple of clips of it, but I didn't get to watch the whole thing. I was going to check that out in a little bit yeah. how do you feel about it i mean i'm like dude uh you know it's like the, the main way i feel about it is you got a weatherman versus you know <laughs> some fucking lady but it's uh your fucking your grandmother versus a weatherman but it's yeah. like but at the same time though uh you look at uh you know it just you know, don't tell me, don't talk shit about each other. Tell me what you're going to do. Yeah, that's like what I seen in the clip. So it's he's like, like oh just... yeah, she grabbed his dick and, and <laughs> this and that and he's gay. And it's like, it's like, that's a fucking weird situation to begin with. Yeah. It's like, so I don't give, I don't care about, I want to talk about what you're going to do. Yeah. But it's like, that was his only thing was like, and you can tell he doesn't really understand politics and everything. Yeah, because I think I'd seen him, one of the clips was him talking about the border security and stuff, and like, I don't know what he was saying to me. Well, he said didn't... fentanyl's coming through the border. It's yeah. coming from China online, motherfuckers coming from the border. Yeah, that shit's coming, coming from, from every, everywhere. everywhere, yeah. He's an idiot, though. That's where I say you got a weatherman that, uh, that, uh, wants to, uh, that, you know, wants to discuss where drugs are coming from. It's like, dude, you're a dork. Yeah. It's like at the end of the day, you don't know where anything's coming from. Yeah, you, exactly. been, you, you don't know anything. Yeah, he's, I don't know. You live in the far northeast heights probably in a fucking gated <laughs> community, I would assume. Or nothing affects you at all. It's like, you know, and then you want to come in and listen to that and... Yeah. I'm a small business and I don't want you here. Yep. <laughs> I mean, look, dude, and she probably did some weird shit, and there's some shit going on, but it's like he's not smart enough. He does, yeah. Have, so that's where my angle of, uh, you know, we don't have a big choice of great people. I'm not running, so it's like, fucking, yeah. I guess it's gonna be her. Yeah. <laughs> but that would be sick if I had enough cash, and I would just jump on that shit. Yeah. 
You yeah. see that dude? He's running, I think, for Senate or something. And he's, he's a felon. Yeah, that was. I want to reach cool. out to that. Dude. What's his? Do you know his name? Or? I'm not sure. I can look it up on my phone. Here I do bit. it. Do it real quick. Yeah. Just so I can, because I'm gonna fucking shut him up. It's like. Yeah, I want to reach out to that dude and say, because I'm like, damn, I, that, that's actually kind of cool. And that's the only thing they had on him is they tried to shit on him. Yeah. They're like, uh, oh, you're a felon. Or you you were a convicted felon. Or yeah. Whatever. It's like, that's all you have on him? Like, damn, dude. You got to be ashamed of yourself bringing up uh, his past like that. Like, yeah, as he, your only employed. Uh, that's where it was like with Ron Kitty saying, uh, you know, Michelle Lu Gershom and everything. Oh, yeah, you... Uh, you grabbed his dick, you did this yeah. and that, you fucking... You, well, 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 let's talk politics here, you know, forget yeah. about the dick grab and all that other... Paid him $150,000 or whatever to <laughs> fucking shut his mouth, it's like... Yeah, this shit was crazy. She should have grabbed me, I wouldn't have said a word. <laughs> right? It was like, my God. It's like, Jesus. Is it Brian Zamora? Let me see, I'll look it up. I don't his picture too, just Yeah. Let's see. Cause I feel like with what I'm doing and, and his past and my past, it's kinda like, damn, that's pretty much Yeah. So you should be coming here to get your haircut for sure. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Like, You could tell when you heard Michelle uh, Grisham talk or whatever that it was uh, that she was uh, she had more she had more education when it came to the position. Yeah, that's where I noticed, and it was like you know, and then the main, the main things that homie was doing was just uh, bringing up like some shit that really didn't matter. She also did dodge the question about the, uh, the dick rod thing or whatever. Did like, she? <laughs> she didn't, and I knew she was going to deflect. I mean, it's why would you want to get into a banter over that anyway? Yeah, that's... What is he running for? Running for, is it Senate? Or? Yeah, I think so. That is the dude for sure. Salomon Pena. Oh, wow. Salomon. Salomon. Republican Salomon Pena is qualified to run for represent. Oh, to represent House District 14. Yeah, they let me have today off so that I don't. um because last week I wasn't able to uh, deliver my last load in, in Sholo, Arizona. Because I only had five hours left and I had to get back. Wait, so wait, so what happened? Last week I um, I was almost out of... Because I have 60 hours to drive and work in the wor in a week. Like yeah. that's all I can work oh, I or drive. And uh, last week I showed up to my last stop in Sholo, Arizona. But I only had five hours left. And like it's basically a four and a half hour drive to get back 
So I had to just drive back and not even, because I didn't have time to stop and deliver their stuff. Oh yeah, because it would have been against law. Yeah, yeah, like I would have ran out of time. Like I think I had 26 minutes left when I got back to the yard. Jeez. Last week on Saturday. And why is that happening? Just working a lot, like oh, yeah. driving a lot. Just, it just, yeah. It's not due to traffic or anything? Um, not, no, not really. Like, not that, no. And then like, I'm off, I'll be off like on a Saturday and a, or a Sunday and a Monday. And that'll reset my hours because you have to wait 34 hours to like reset all your hours. Oh yeah, so kind of as a time off and everything. Yeah, and then I'm, I think since I'm off today, I'll regain a few hours for the the couple of weeks or the couple the next couple of days. Like I'll regain like three or four hours on my drive. And how will you do that? Just being off. <laughs> oh yeah, so it helps you. Yeah. More hours I'm still like learning the like because they taught us in school but every they just taught us so much it was hard to take everything in <clears throat> I do need to call my boss today Wait, why? because the way they're packing the truck for us like they had this because each, like, usually they'll pack it and, like, each stop will be in, like, one certain area. But yesterday, they just had things just mixed up all over the place. And so it took us longer than it should have. Uh, it was kind of frustrating. But something I've learned as a truck driver is have more patience. Yeah. Seeing guys, I dry his hair for many reasons. This is so I can, the next step will be, so we've already uh, faded it. The next step is gonna to be to knock some of this with clipper over comb. I need it dry in order to do that. Then I'm gonna add the uh, texture to the top real quick and then I'm going to shave the sides. That's what makes it a razor fade. And not like razor fade with, uh, with just, uh, you know, the clippers or whatever, or electric razor. It has to be the straight blade. I just ordered a new straight blade too. Thank you. Yeah. Nice. Right. How's uh, everything going? It's going good. good. That's good. It's like for a second there, like, uh, it got real, real busy. I was like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> like busy, busy. It's like, damn, and then I noticed, oh, the kids are off of school. Oh, yeah. And that's why there was so many kids in here. I was like, Jesus. Because one day I woke up and looked at the list, and it was like, literally like eight kids have cuts, and I was like, whoa, that's weird. <laughs> you know, there's at least two kids for the day, but it's like, damn, dude. Eight yeah, of them eight of them, yeah. Almost like, you know, it's like, shoot. Will you not cut like certain ages, or just you don't really, just as long as they're able to get their hair cut. I'll cut any age, uh, the any age at all, I guess. So 12 yeah. and under. Like, I, like if someone came in with a baby that was 18 months and was like, oh, yeah. let's trim it. No, I'm just, that would probably never happen. I'm just saying if that yeah. did happen, then I might say, I'd probably say no. Yeah. Just because, I mean, I don't want, you know, something to happen or anything. It's like, uh, but, uh, you know, at that point, I'd probably uh, say no. And then, uh, but, I mean, any other age ads, I mean... I look at it like with the kid circuits, a lot of people would be like, oh, uh, he's not good in the chair, or he's this and that. And, yeah. But, uh, and that shit really doesn't affect me because I just, number one, I don't play games. Number two, yeah. uh, you know, I kind of command the respect. Number three, it's like, I, I respect the kids in the chair and everything. Oh. Like, and that they don't know me and everything and that they're, you know, they're, uh, they're it's, it's a hard experience for them in the beginning because they're, two years old trying to get to know a strange man yeah. that has tattoos and everything else. <laughs> Looks like shit. So it's like, so that's where I say like, it's, I'm just good with the kids. So like, you know, they, yeah. no, nah, there isn't an age that I want. I was just wondering, because I remember when, I think Elijah was probably maybe a year and a half, two years old when we got his hair cut for the first time. Oh yeah. Yeah. He's been coming here for a while. Yeah. But it's like, even like uh, my buddy Joe Karras and everything, shout out Joe and everything. He was even like all like, hey, damn, you know, we want to support your business. Uh, 
uh, you know, our daughter's whatever age, probably 12 and under or whatever, yeah. uh, you know, but she has longer hair. Is there any way that, you know, you'd be willing to trim her hair or whatever? And it's like, yeah, just pop her on the kid's haircut. I don't care. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, the kid's haircut is everything. I don't care if the kid comes in and has long hair down to his, you know, shoulders or whatever and wants a scissor haircut. Okay. It's only going to be the kid's price. Yeah. Oh, they, can have, cool. they can have anything. Yeah. So they can have a razor fade. They can have, they can have anything they want. And it'll be the kid's price that they got. That, that's where it's like, cause it's, come on, they're 12 and under. It's yeah. Elijah. 12 next year. He's been on my YouTube channel more than anybody. Yeah, he loves it, bro. Yeah, <laughs> he's so excited. Well. Such a good kid. Uh, shout out uh, Asha and everything, because I already know you're watching. Hell yeah, I appreciate that. He is a great kid. Killing it in baseball and everything. Yeah, we, I think we have... We have a game this week, two games this week, or three games this weekend. And then we have a tournament coming up in El Paso uh, at the end of the month. It's like the Halloween something. My, that my company actually gave me time off for it. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, I'm gonna rent, uh, I'm actually probably gonna do that today, rent my Airbnb in El Paso. I don't really like motels. Yeah, I think the Airbnb would be yeah. more privately comfortable. And I stay in a motel like three, four days out of the week anyway with my job. But a different motel at a different location or, or at the same uh, area? It just depends. Like when I was in Sholo, I stayed at the same one. And it was actually like That's a really sweet. nice motel. It was the Hampton Inn. Oh. Hilton, like Hampton Inn or something. Yeah. Yeah, it was like a really nice motel. And I'm, I'm not sure the name of the one we stayed in in Taos, but it was really nice too. Like that's one thing I like about this company is they do not put us in some bootleg like motel or hotel or whatever. Like in Tradewinds Hotel. Yeah, Central, so. no, they put us in a nice area. Yeah, Taos is really looking nice right now. They're starting to get those fall colors. Yeah, definitely put my driving skills to the test too, driving up in the like mountain roads and stuff in a semi. Well, why was it already snowy or? Not nah, just how windy, windy the road was, how tight the road was. Like, oh, yeah. I it really didn't have any, if I would have made a mistake, we could have went over the side of a Yeah, cliff. see, I won't drive on something like that. I don't, <laughs> yeah. I don't like shit like that just because I'm like, uh-uh. Yeah. I know what you mean. In California, they have like windy mountains where yeah. literally like it's a mountain and the road's not very. Yeah. So if you do accidentally just say like you're not looking for a second you can, and you don't make that turn, you're, you're gone. Yeah. And that's what it's like. Holy shit. I look at it all as a learning experience too for driving, so. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty cool, man. I don't know. I'm glad. I'm. I like that they trust me to run those routes too. Cause it was not easy. I guess the girl that was doing it before, like I did it, she backed into a pole at the motel and just left. Damn. Yeah. And quit her job and everything. It's all. She just <laughs> straight up went home. It's like yeah. Hey, she just. Nailed some pole at the motel because. Well, what did she do though? Like she and oh, and she just left from the motel. Yeah, <laughs> instead of because we have a helper with. You didn't us. check in and actually tell the truth and like, oh yeah. shit, you know, I accidentally backed into. It's like let me. Uh, it's like holy shit. She yeah. Messed it off. It was. It wasn't me. Instead, and like and instead of having your helper guide you, like, and then like she could have backed straight out to the street and he could have stopped the traffic for. Her. But she tried to like make this un just ridiculous turn and hit the pole. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like the windy road thing. That shit at me. Yeah. Like, oh. There was a couple of spots where I had to stop because the semi was coming up on the other end and like I'd have to wait for him to make the turn. Damn, so it is one of those roads yeah. kind of, like it's, it, two cars can barely squeeze by. Yeah, it was not very fun. 
And that tells me that if you're on that end, you're really close to the end of the cliff and everything. Oh yeah, you can see like some places, like I know they're up there fixing it, but where like the road was falling out. Yeah. Like going, like the cliff was just falling. A rock will reposition and then it's... Yep. It's <laughs> not sick. But imagine though you're driving and one of those rocks falls, like, God damn. Yeah. I mean, it sucks, but I do have life insurance. Elijah would be taken care of. Let's see, watch, look at this. this is, look how that came out. Oh, that is nice, bro. Hell yeah. Appreciate you, man. Hell yeah. Always great. <laughs> <laughs>